What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World. Today we're going to be talking about the Madden 21 Ultimate Team info and stuff that EA revealed pretty much with the most recent Gridiron notes. Uh, August 18th. Okay, that's going to be the date. EA has already revealed it. That's when they're going to give us all the information. Possibly Mutt Master, you know, the Series Master, the Elites, all the cards, uh, the availability, all that kind of stuff from the launch, the Legends. All that information is going to be coming August 18th, alright? Once that's done, I'm going to update you guys with everything that's going on, but I think we all realize what we're going to be doing because now that I've been giving you guys formats, showing you guys stuff like that, in this video right here, we're going to actually do something different though. I'm going to put Dwight Freeney at D-Tackle and, and move uh, Henderson, and then I'm going to keep, um, you know, I'm going to keep Miles Garrett, I'm going to put Lawrence Taylor at end also, put Brian Burns and put Jadavion Clowney on the outside, and our linebacker is going to be Anthony Barr. Now, if you guys need to go back and pause the video to see where everything is at, please feel free to do so. I will point out also that this guy, I didn't know he was a top 100 player uh, when I started to play the game because most of the top 100 players don't really use Moss. So when I saw like he had Moss over there and he was highlighted, I was like, all right, this dude's an idiot. But it didn't really matter. He throws it up. He's going to Moss me uncontrollably. And that's what's supposed to happen to me, dude. That Look, bro, like that's what it is. It is what it is. I'm not really concerned about it. Whatever, right? So look, he goes ahead, he throws a little, you know, whatever pass, you know, screen passes, whatever, um, out of the, uh, you know, the four wide, and it's good. But this is this is the thing that I want you guys to understand. With all of the mutt info that's been released, a lot of you guys are wondering, you know, exactly which way we're going. Are we going legends? Are they going to bring back the legends cam? Um, are we going to still go with the 49ers because they're the easiest? Usually they're the easiest. I don't know if EA has the most, um, you know, the most deals as far as players go. Uh, with the 49ers but they're usually one of the easier uh teams to kind of put together a theme team because this is a lot of the inf you know the feedback that i've been getting what are we doing uh you know at the launch are we trying to build that type of situation well it's going to all depend on the cards that they actually show us it doesn't really matter about mutt master though mutt master is going to be on everybody's team so you know it don't really matter okay yeah double coverage all right cool get moss we're going for six so speaking of getting moss Grunk, who got one of the higher overall ratings in Madden 21 with the regs, a lot of you guys understand that I'm more than likely going to have him on the squad at launch. Now, his Mutt card is going to be very, very slow. It took him until the end of the year to get even in the 90 speed. So they're going to start him off very, very slow, but he's going to be a higher overall elite. All right. So, you know, if you guys want to go that route, right, to kind of see as, as far as like the height. Is it going to matter? Can you actually moss people? We can't really determine that until we see the bill that we get once we get EA access. Because after we get EA access, that's the game. A lot of you guys have to understand it. Like, that's the bill. That, that's it. After that, it's tuning and, you know, patches and stuff like that. But the build, we're going to be able to see for ourselves exactly what's going on. So was I able to moss dudes with the closed beta? Absolutely 100%. I was out there going crazy with Mike Evans. Okay, but does that mean that it's going to still work in the actual game when we get the final build? That's what you guys want to know. That's what everybody's trying to figure out. Like, you know, what's the approach? How are we going to do that? You know, what if this guy gets an elite? What if this guy, like a lot of you guys brought up Jimmy Graham, you know, he's six, seven. He was garbage in this game though, because he doesn't really have, you know, the blocking attributes. He doesn't really have a lot of the things that go into it. OJ, OJ Howard was like, you know, he was okay, but he wasn't that good, you know, simply because he just didn't have the card with the attributes on it. So at the launch, because they're focused so much more, again, they have been increasingly putting more and more on the attributes of the card. So it may turn out that even, even though Grunk is mad slow with like a 78 speed, he might actually be better than a lot of the cards that are available based on the way that we want to play the game. If that is the case, okay, if, that's, if we're coming out with straight Moss action, if that is the case, we will know on the first day of EA Access. How are we going to know that? Because I'm going to be in the lab going wild like a savage. That's how we're going to absolutely know that, okay? Now, everything else that comes with it with the Series Masters and stuff like that, some of you guys are like, yo, I don't really play head-to-head, -head. I don't play online, I do solo battles. Well, I don't know if EA Sports is going to adjust the way that the trophies are. I don't know if they're going to give us a new currency. All of that stuff is going to be revealed on the 18th. And I'm going to give you the absolute 100% breakdown of everything that's going on with it. And we're going to go from there. This guy just did, yo, these touch passes, dude, like whatever. They're supposed to have better run fits in um, in Madden 21. So we'll see if that's even a thing 
because that was just really ridiculous. But I will give this guy a lot of credit. He plays the regular nickel 335, and it's the most annoying defense in the game because he instantly sheds, everybody comes in automatically. Very, very stupid. But the thing about it is, even when you get guys like this, you got to understand, sometimes your defense has to win the game for you. And you guys all know what I'm talking about. No matter how good you are at any game, you have to have different outs and different ways to play it just in case you run into a guy like this. Like, he's just throwing it in the coverage. He doesn't care because the guy has, a, you know, his, his, his X is highlighted. He's like, yo, whatever. But even if he doesn't have his X highlighted, he's still doing the same things. This dude is a terrible Madden player, but he's in the top 100 for a reason. These gimmick plays are wild. Okay, so right there, just dot me then. Whatever, go ahead, go ahead. Go for six. Go for six, dude. Whatever, man. Yeah, whatever. Yo, th th this guy right here, though, like, but look. Because I know all the other things that are going to possibly be, you know, be coming with me. Is he going to throw that? He did throw that. Okay, but Shazier doesn't really have legs, so he can't jump. Now, if I had Shazier with Lurker, he probably would have got that. Or if I was over there with Anthony Barr, they would allow me to jump a little bit higher. But it is what it is. Whatever. It doesn't matter, right? Um, with everything else that's going to be getting released about it, we're going to have our game plan. Because for those of you guys that are wondering, you know, Series Master, um, you know, you have... Um, you know the different ones throughout you know throughout the year i think we had six series masters this year then we had a level master uh obviously mutt master some of you guys are assuming that they're going to be bringing out more stuff why didn't he throw that what is this guy doing it doesn't really matter everything around the team building of our squads and trying to kind of format the players that we're going after is all going to be like given to you i'm going to give you all of the insight of what i feel how we should actually do it a lot of you guys um, are finding the channel you uh, you know through YouTube searches shout out to you guys shout out to YouTube for giving me that opportunity to even come up in the search definitely blessed for that thank you guys all of you newcomers that are coming in welcome but we're going to do it from scratch and it doesn't matter if you're no money spent whatever however you do it like I said I'm going to detail the specific attributes and the, and the specific cards that you need and why those cards are good. Some cards are going to be so good that you're going to have to find a way to get them and there's nothing you can do about it. All right, that's just going to be the case. It's going to be absolutely nothing you can do about it. You're gonna, like Jalen Ramsey with Bottleneck, he's probably going to be so OP, it's going to be ridiculous at launch. But we have to wait to see exactly how it's going to work. We know he's getting an elite card because we can tell from the regs when they gave the ratings what's actually going to be happening. But again, it's going to be very, very fun like it always is to go ahead and break it down for you guys, go over everything, and just have fun with each other as the year starts. And we're going to ride it through together. Um, for those of you guys that, you know, wondered about the 2K, I'm going to do my best to get on that with the 2K because you guys really like the 2K action. So it's a lot more that we're going to be getting into. But right now, it's all about Madden Ultimate Team for 21. Give me your best guesses for Mutt Masters, the Series Master, the Level Master, and... We're going to talk about it in the comments. I don't really want to guess, though, because EA be coming out of left field with all that stuff. Right here, though, isn't my record better than his? I don't know how EA does the calculations. It doesn't really matter, though. You guys enjoy your day. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.